This is one of the issues that people constantly come across as like game developers while working on Unreal Engine, and I figured it would be a nice moment to talk about this. Uh, back in the day, we did not really have the tools to deal with situations like these, but thanks to the implementation of the control rig in the late UE4 versions, we now have the ability to retarget our IK bones back to where they should be, and not in God knows the fuck where. Through the usage of our character control rig, we can now bake hand locations back to the IK bones, which was always the original intention for those bones. This allows for fixes that used to be cumbersome where you had to take the animation back out into Maya or 3ds Max or Blender or what have you and do it by hand. Or use a script if you're very brave. So what is the solution? For this example, we'll be using UE5 0.1 and an animation I've retargeted prior from Mixamo and using the new Manny Skeleton. You can use your own character for this purpose, but you do not really need your own control rig for what we were about to do. So, first open up an empty level and create a new sequencer from the top menu. We'll call this LS underscore finally fixing those goddamn IKs because we're cool like that and we keep to our naming conventions. Drag and drop your skeletal mesh right on the heart of it. I'm going to be using my own animation gym here for this purpose. Next, we're going to track our skeletal mesh into sequencer. You're going to notice that the control rig comes in with the skeletal mesh added to the level sequencer. So we're going to get rid of that real fast and we're going to switch to our animation window. Now we are ready to start tracking the animation we want to retarget for the IKs. We're going to be choosing our little backflip animation that we've gotten from Mixamo. Let's check and make sure our sequence is fitted properly with the beginning and end frames. And after that, we're going to right click on the mesh and say edit with the FK rig. You can check or uncheck the release case here, but for this one, we're going to leave that off. And as you can see, what it does is it bakes the animation that we've just grabbed into individual keyframes on the control rig. But as you can see, the IK bones are still foobar. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the animation that we have underneath because we don't need that anymore. But we do care about only a few things in this list. To minimize some of our footprint, we can just type hand into the search bar. And these are the only bones we care about. The hand left, hand R, IK hand left, IK hand R, and the IK hand gun. So those five bones are what we're going to be dealing with right now. And then we're going to go to the foot. So first thing we're going to do is clear up all the keyframes from the IK bones. IK hand L, IK hand R, and IK hand gun. As you can see, there was no difference whatsoever because the IK hands are not moving. So now we're going to do the foot. Exactly the same way we're going to pick uh, IK foot L, IK foot R. And we're going to care about the positions of the foot left and foot R. Foot left and foot right. Bones. So... To do all of this, there's a nifty little magical tool. And this tool is called the snapper tool of the animation box we have here. So clicking on that will pop open this kind of a familiar window. So you have a children and you have the parent actors. So what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be picking the IK foots as the children and we're gonna pick the actual bones as the parents. So for this instance, we just mapped out the IK foot L to the parent foot L. And now as you can see, the IK bone is taking on the translation of the actual bone. So this way you can do your IK retargeting for the fate much, much faster at runtime. We're gonna repeat the process for IK foot R, just like that. Everything's working now, we're gonna do the hands. The hands are a little bit of a more of a different beast because first you have to do the IK handgun because it's also attached to the other two. So we pick the hand R for that one. So 
that one will follow the right hand. And as you can see, it works. Now we have to map out the other two using the exact same system. Remember, actual bone is the parent, the IK hand is the child. Gonna speed through this process just a little bit. And we have our animation retargeted completely with all the IK bones working. There is a slight bit of a hitch there, but for this instance, we'll be okay. So with that in, we're gonna be baking our animation sequence. Right click, bake animation sequence, choose the folder. I'm gonna call it anim underscore backflip fixed die case. Export the animation, and if you click on the tool tip, you will see that we have achieved the result that we wanted. There we go. And to compare it with the previous one, where you can see the IK bones do not even move. And that's how we do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, don't forget to post them down in the comment section below. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you very much.